Hey guys, it's Mitten Model Horses. Today we are doing the seven deadly sins of a model horse collector mm -hmm. tag. But we know it's kind of dead, but we thought it'd yeah. be fun to do for our first video. A little um, ice breaking. Yes. Maybe we should start off with I'm Briar Othello Gal on Instagram. And I'm Triple Oak Farm on Instagram. Yeah, and we're um, best friends. Yeah, so we've been friends for a while and they will probably come up in a later video of, you know, how we became friends. Yeah. And we're just getting this channel started. And because yeah. the model horse yeah. YouTube community is dying. <laughs> is dying and yeah. we're hoping to bring it back, but we'll see. Should we get started? Yeah, you go first. Okay, so if you guys don't know what the seven deadly sins of a model horse collector is, that's a lot of words. Um, it's basically the seven deadly sins. So each of those will have a question that goes along with it, and we show a model. Um, yeah, we kind of yeah. tweaked it a little bit though, so that we have a model. Yeah, for and every we'll question. kind of explain what each one is as we go along. So the first one is greed, uh, most expensive model and least expensive. So I'm gonna start with my least expensive. This is Sally, and she's kind of bright in the viewfinder, but she's a vintage gray. I don't even know what mold this is, but. I got her at a Salvation Army for 99 cents and she had a little sticker that was on her little piece of tape that said 99. And I got her for 99 cents. So then my least expensive model is a little bit more expensive than Emma's, but this is Dusty from Briarfest 2011 and I got her for $20 on Model Horse sales pages. It's actually really good. I had no yeah. idea about that. Yeah. No, I got her, she was a store special. I don't know. I got her when I first started collecting. So. And you show her. Yeah, and she shows really well. Okay, and then most expensive horse um, is my Champagne Wishes, who I actually got in a partial trade with Glossy Big Tricks to Cash, but technically overall I ended up I did end up paying um, two thirty for her, I think. So this is my most expensive. And then my most expensive is Java, and he was the last release in the Big Cat series. And he was the first web special that I bought, um, and I just paid original selling price, which was 175 but with buyer shipping it was 200 but he's really okay. cute. Next is Wrath, which is a model that you have a love-hate relationship with. Mine is Party Girl, um, and I actually really, really like the model herself, but mine has some issues that I did not know she had um, when I got her. She has this weird rub on her neck, which I've been wanting to get her fixed for so long. But she has just like little factory flaws everywhere that kind of make me want to sell her. But I, yeah, <laughs> that's her. <laughs> Mine is uh, Pele, who is the 2016 Briarfest diorama contest model. And I love him because I worked so hard for him to win him, but I hate him because he does not show well. And that's super disappointing yeah. to put a rare model on the table and they don't come off with ribbons. So yeah, especially when it's yeah. something you worked for and like. Mhm. Mm yeah. So that's my love hate. Next one is gluttony, favorite model. So we decided we weren't gonna repeat any models in this. So this is where it kind of gets hard because my actual most favorite is previous model. Um. So my most favorite is this chalky grazing mare who I got at Briarfest for twenty dollars and uh, yeah not much about her I mean she's not super special but I just think she's really cool and I've always kind of wanted a chalky for my collection so my favorite model is Churchill and I collect Othello's so it's a very unique piece to have um, and also, for some reason, mine's a gelding, so I think that just makes him so much cooler. And he'd be something that I'd never be able to own if my mom wasn't volunteering. So that makes him one of my favorites, although I cannot pick a favorite. Next is Sloth, which was originally what I hate most about model horses. Um, but we, we changed, changed it to just our least favorite model. My least favorite is Cherry Creek Fun Ritz. I don't know how to actually say it, but I think, yeah, it's him. Um, he's just kind of plain. I don't like his 
paint job. I don't know. Not my favorite. And then Miley's favorite is this horse, and you can see why. Wow, you can see how red he is in Yeah, that. because he looks like <laughs> freaking cherry medicine. But the only reason I have him is for the conga, so... He needs to stay around even though he's super ugly. And he doesn't have any eye whites or any markings. He's just this really ugly red wood color. Next is pride, most proud of. So mine is... Oh, he looks really bright. This is it, my glossy Affy Dark Horse Surprise. He's glossy. You probably, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. Um, he was my first glossy surprise horse, so it was really cool for me to get him, and he's really pretty. He has a few little issues, but honestly, that's to be expected with Briar and the surprise horses. So. <laughs> and then we said that we weren't going to do any customs, but I had to bring one anyways. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't know. I can't be proud of just that a, makes sense. Yeah, a briar that like yeah. I didn't paint. So this is uh, probably one of my favorite customs, and this is Ash, and she's obviously on the Wyatt mold, and she's a re reverse apple hair by hair blue roan. So yeah. yeah, she shows really well, and I'm really proud of her. <laughs> she got a first at Briarfest. Yeah, she got a first at Briarfest amateur custom class. Next is. What do we look for in a model? For, so for this one, we did our best show horse mm -hmm. um, because we figured that's like, what do we look for in, you know, a horse to show, I guess, because we live show. So um, I picked my Peter Stone Nicodemus and he has been racking up Nan cards since I got him. I got him at Briarfest 2015, I believe, for $45 and he has about I think nine Nan cards now and a couple or more <laughs> reserve champions and champs under his belt. So that's him. My best shower, I think, is you probably won't be able to tell my glossy <laughs> Carmelo. He Uncle looks like a ghost. Tech thing. Yeah, from Breakfast 2015. He shows really well and he even got a second at this year's Briarfest and a fifth at last year's Briarfest. So it's pretty cool. So the next and the last one is Envy. What is your grail? Because we wanted yeah. to have models for everyone, we picked a grail that we have achieved. This is True North, and I got him for Christmas last year, and yeah, he is just really pretty, and he was a grail for a while, so yeah, he's one of my biggest grails that I have. For my grail achieved, I grab <laughs> my glossy win that I won at Briarfest this year with one of my customs in the amateur custom class which I was thinking about bringing her but I was like I'm gonna bring this horse anyways um but she's super pretty and I conga the forever sage mold in this I have a, a complete conga so that's awesome I wouldn't have her if it wasn't for that yeah you got the two Brunellos and traded one mm -hmm, yeah so Yep. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So that's it for this video. Um, yes. We're going to be trying to put out... A f we obviously don't yeah. have a recording schedule, but yeah. we want to get this started and get it going, I guess. Yeah, um, we kind of want to bring the model horse community back to YouTube. Yeah, so we yeah. hope to continue making videos. Leave comments down below for things that you're interested in watching. It's kind of hard to make videos if we don't know what yeah. people want to watch. So... Let us know. Um, all of our, on Instagram. Yeah, all of our links will be in the description. Um, our Instagrams. We don't really have anything else. Um, but yeah, follow us. Do all that stuff, and we will see you guys whenever. <laughs>